So I've, I've been thinking about something, and uh, I didn't want to say anything for a minute, you know what I mean? So, you know, because it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to listen, but I just got to get this off my chest. Here is, I don't care who you vote for. It doesn't matter to me. But here is something I, I, I want to just put out, put forth. Because there has been uh, a disturbing um, phenomenon, if you will, which has always been happening to African-American males mostly, and some women. But it's been happening to us for many years, many decades, and um, I can't, I can't quite conceive, or understand. I, I can't figure out how a, a young black man, my age, say like thirty, from, from age thirty, I can understand thirty and under because they don't know any better. They don't know. Some may not know the the history as well as some others. But an educated black man from thirty to sixty. Now voting for Donald Trump. I, I can't understand that. So maybe somebody can help me if I put this on my platforms and explain this to me. Because I can't understand it. Because let's just look at this one factor. Let's look at this one thing. I've been I've been watching YouTube. I already knew this, but a lot of white people didn't know this. But I already knew this, and many of my friends and family and uh, uh, people I grew up around, we knew this already for 40, 40, 50 years. And and even before that, it was worse. <laughs> but the thing that's crazy to me is I'm 57 years old. So I was born in 1967. So I'm just saying I didn't really notice the racism that was happening at that time or a few years after, a few years before or whatever, until I was around 18, 19, I, I really didn't even, I didn't even know or comprehend or conceive how um, diabolical it was, if you will. I, I, I didn't know, you know what I mean? But I went, when I went to college, it showed you for one year, and then I went to North Carolina Central University. I dwelled more into my mind and which was of history and I learned I learned a lot of stuff that I, I had no clue like about slavery and stuff I, I just had no clue but the thing is the Donald Trump is has said over and over he's going to give the police complete power there's nothing you can do and with his Supreme Court if he's elected <laughs> There are going to be many, many more young black males killed. I I hate to say this. I, you know, I don't want it to be true. I don't want this to happen. But this is what I feel is going to happen. Because since YouTube came out, the world now sees how the black male and some black women are treated by the police. Go, go stop or whatever they call it in Germany. But I'm saying it's like they're gonna Donald Trump is gonna take this back to the days where when a slave escaped from South Carolina or Florida and made it to New York or wherever they were free could be so-called free, the overseer or the or the slave uh they were like they, I would call them the day that the equivalent of the marshals. <laughs> like they could come and get a slave, and they didn't give a damn. Take him back to Florida, where he'd be a slave again. And he just he he made it away into a into a so-called free so-called free state. This is this is what's going to happen to young black men. It ain't gonna matter to me because I'm almost 60, man. I, you know, I can take whatever they're gonna put out. But the next generation of young black males, they're gonna have hell. One, they're not gonna know their history because the Republicans, not Donald Trump, the people who are trying to put him in office, just like Kamala Harris, the people trying to put her in office, not her. She don't have, she doesn't have any say-so. The Congress and the Senate and the people who control 
the organizations who control that with the money they put into those organ into those entities and in those legislative parties, legislative uh, situations, they're going to control the United States. The president is not going to control the United States. But the president can have a lot of power and say so if the people behind him implement everything or put in his mind this is what you need to do. And he believe it. So he already said he's going to get the police complete immunity. No matter if they kill, arrest, beat, harass anybody. But this is mostly going to happen to minorities, Hispanics and blacks, mostly black males. Mostly black males are going to get your ass whooped. You're going to get your ass whooped. Your grandchild, your grandson, your great great grandson, there's no need in telling them to do this if the police pull you over because it's not going to matter. They're going to whoop his ass. He could comply totally in 2027. If Donald Trump is president, they're not going to give a damn. <laughs> yeah, they're going to come right to the car with the guns already out. He got a gun and shoot him. They're going to be telling him, give me your license. Officer, wait, wait a minute. I got my hands up. I don't give a fuck. Give me your license right now. Okay, if I get my license, you ain't going to shoot me? I promise I ain't going to shoot you. Soon as he reach, he got a gun and he's going to blast him away. And that's going to be okay. That's going to be sufficient because that's just what's going to happen, man. I, 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 I don't want that to happen. They want to erase African-American history. So, because they feel some white kids and youth are being, feel guilty about what happened to black people. No, they need to know what happened to black people so they can have some damn compassion. So they can have some compassion. This is about having some compassion. This knowledge is about compassion, not about offending nobody, hurt nobody's feelings. But, but you got a lot of races here that don't wear no hood no more. That, it, this is crazy. They in all offices of the United States arena. They're all over the place. We don't know who they are. We don't know who these people are. Because they got on a shirt and a tie. They the basketball coach, the football coach. We don't know who these people are. They blending into society. They in the military, they the police, but they ready to come forth, forth and unleash. Unleash an horrific and horrific abomination on poor whites and blacks, but mostly African American males. They gonna fuck y'all up. Peace.